New at five wildfires in Arizona are happening more and more in the desert. Experts say that that's place uh, that's places that doesn't you that's a place that doesn't usually burn and that's causing a lot of problems for Arizona's cacti which don't bounce back as quickly as other plants. Team 12's William Pitts shows us a cactus rescue that's hoping to change that. We think about saguaros as resilient, able to survive pretty much anything. After all, they live out here in the desert, but they're not adapted to everything that happens in the desert. Now, though, they're getting some help. Nothing says Arizona like a saguaro. No, nope. literally nowhere else. Not naturally. You can only find them in Arizona. They survive in the desert in extreme heat, very little water, but they can't survive us. Saguaros don't come back. Ecosystems, the Sonoran Desert ecosystem is not fire adapted. Climate change and drought are leading to more wildfires and more fires in the desert where there haven't been fires before. Once it's gone, it's really gone. It takes hundreds and hundreds of years for most of these plants to adapt and adjust. Because those big saguaros are probably more than 150 years old. They don't grow overnight. The high intensity heat can really devastate the whole landscape of the Sonoran Desert. That's where this place comes in. It's a cactus hospital being built with money from the Arizona Lottery, a place where they can be nursed back to health before being replanted. A lot of these were rescued from the Bush Fire, a fire that burned around Four Peaks in 2020. Turns out you can cut the end off the saguaro, stick it in the dirt. What's really cool, you just water them at the top and the channels and the cactus bring all the water right down where it needs to be. And apparently they'll grow again. That's something the rangers didn't even know until someone told them it worked. They're like, oh yeah, we just cut them and put them straight down. We're like, I'm sorry, what? And that's how the Tonto National Forest, the Forest Foundation, and Natural Restorations save these cacti, one at a time, trying to bring them back to life so the desert can survive. William Pitts, 12 News. Hmm, I just learned something new. I know.